Yes, and welcome to another bathrobe sessions featuring me and not Dennis. I'm sorry, but it's me. We're going to call this the Creepy James Edition because all of the questions that I answer here are from our friend Creepy James. I did have to delete a couple of the creepiest questions that he had, but you know, a guy named Creepy James, don't be surprised when he asks if he can smell the insides of your shoes. Uh, first question that he asks is very important. Fast or slow moving zombies, and do you have a survival plan? Uh, my survival plan only deals with slow moving zombies. So if we have fast moving zombies, um, I am probably going to be screwed. But the slow moving zombies, um, I think my plan is to just run faster than them. And uh, I think it might work to zig and zag. It might not. I might zig and zag into some other zombies, but uh, that's probably how I'd give it, give it a try. We'll see if it works when the zombie revolution happens on April 15th, 2013. Just remember, I'm warning you now when the zombie revolution, the uprising, will happen. And uh, Creepy James, I don't think you have a uh, survival plan, but if you do, please post it on Twitter. Um... Another question is, uh, living on the left coast, or as we call it here, the best coast, thank you, uh, do you ever take flack from the locals because you work on the Dennis Miller show? Uh, I would say not really. Uh, generally speaking, uh, most people don't really care that much ab about, uh, you know, the politics and things. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think anybody who listens to the show knows what Dennis's stances are on, on social issues. And I think those are the ones that, at least people that I interact with, would tend to get more upset about, you know? I mean, those are the things that might bother them. But, uh, you know, I, I think in general, everybody uh, is just uh, wants to know what it's like to work with them. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, I think a lot of people maybe don't even know we have a radio show, which uh, that's special thanks to our friends at Westwood One for making sure that the word is out. But we're, uh, you know, 295 stations at this point, so that is great. I'm uh, poking a little fun at uh, the boys and gals who uh, sell the show. But uh, I, I think, uh, generally speaking, uh, people are interested to hear about it. And, uh, you know, I, you sure you'll occasionally be like, hey, what happened to that guy? And I'm like, well, I don't know. He's, he's still funny. I mean, have you, have you seen him lately? And, uh, you know, usually people will maybe get back to me because they'll, they'll see, you know, like his most recent HBO special or actually catch the show. And... Uh, they often try to figure out which one was me because I say, like, oh, I'm on the air a little bit sometimes. And they're like, really? I, I didn't hear you. I'm like, well, there's two voices. The one that isn't Dennis is me. And they're like, no, I didn't notice that guy. <laughs> and that's how good I am at my job, to make sure that no one notices that I'm even there. Creepy James asks a uh, much creepier question. If one day Dennis showed up at the studio, pulled you aside and said, there's a dead body in the trunk of his car, what would you do? If, as a matter of fact, the day that this happened, I uh, said, I don't even want to see it. Let me drive your car. And uh, I took it uh, up and up and up Mulholland. And uh, I did the old trick with the, uh, the brick on the accelerator, jumped out after I pulled the emergency brake, and I don't know what happened to that body. Neither do you. Enjoy these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com. <laughs>